then folks so another day another selection of rifles so today I've got a brace of Hatsons now Hatson produced in uh, Turkey all the guns produced in Turkey well known brands are the Webley now and the Crow uh, the Hatsons and the Crows They've come out with a great selection of rifles at an affordable price. Uh, for PCPs you're looking at anywhere from around £300 up to about £600. So uh, if you're looking for value for money you can't get any better. Uh, the good thing with the Hatsons and the Crowls, they don't... Uh, they don't cut much, uh, much out of it either. I mean, they all come, most of them anyway, all come with their own case, so you're saving money there. Uh, some of them come with uh, optics included, and you also get uh, spare servicing, things like O-rings, and you get a degassing valves for them as well. I find them really good fun. Uh, the two I've got on the table are both lever action but they do come in bolt action on other uh, rifles that they do they also do pistols and pistol carbines and rifle carbines as well that break down uh, the two that I've got here now you've all seen them before I've got uh, the top of the range which was my daughter's and that is the uh, Hudson Galatian which looks a bit like a pump action shotgun in a way when you look at it and the other one is the Hatson Gladius which is a bullpup design uh, they also come with uh, multiple magazines uh, on the Galatian it comes with two 14 shot magazines in 2.2 and on the Hatson it comes with uh, four magazines in 2.2 so uh, they don't skimp on uh, the product so then <coughs> you say the, the actual cases are well packed out you also get the gun slings with these as well uh, the only thing different on the Gladius I added my own scope which is a discovery scope and my own bipod but as you can see, if you look at the internals of the case, there's plenty of pockets and pouches. There's even a, a spare slot for a spare cylinder if you want one. Uh, like I say, plenty of pellet troughs and things. I mean, I've got safety glasses in there. I've got pellets in there. You've got two more of us with pellets here. So uh, that is the uh, Gladius. Nice rifle. Uh, as you know, I've actually uh, tuned this one myself, took the anti-tamper off, uh, tuned it up to where it should be. Uh, I did put a, a regulator in originally, but it didn't like it. But I will be putting another regulator and I'll probably go for the Robert Lane one. So that is the Atsing Gladius. And the other one. the uh, hat simulation 
same again, comes in its own case, side lever action, two magazines on this, you've got storage for one in the book, uh, adjustable uh, cheap piece, adjustable book pad, uh, it's got Picatinny rails on three sides at the front so you can fit torches, lasers, bipod on this one. Bipod's a separate purchase. This one also came with a, a scope included but uh, we upgraded it to a better scope. So scope on this now is a Nico Sterling. It's a 4x12x50 adjustable objective and it's illuminated reticle as well. Nice scope. Nice reticle, half mil double reticles. Safety catch on this one is at the front and it's a manual safety. Uh, on the hats and it's an automatic safety so every time you cock it you'll see it set the the actual safety so you just flick it with your finger before you fire. You do really get used to it. You can decock these. Uh, let's see what we've got on this. Same with this one, it's an adjustable cheek piece. There's a, a knob on the other side where you can up and down the cheek piece and it's an adjustable butt pad as well. You've got three storage uh, bins there for spear magazines. So it comes with the four magazines. Uh, also, the probes on these, they'll fit all the other Atson rifles plus the Webley rifles as well. So it does make you wonder if the Webleys are made in the uh, Hatton factory or are they made in the Crow factory, it's hard to say. But uh, yeah. So that's the two rifles up close. Uh, what I'll do now, I'll gas them up with uh, some air and then we'll put them over the crony and then we'll do the backyard uh, shoot off again. So that is the Hudson Gladius and Galatian. Okay then, so we'll get on with uh, charging up the two rifles. Using the compressor again. Charge these 200 bar. with the uh, Gladius. Just cover on the side, just tilt it around. The same on the uh, relation.
Okay, so that's the rifles filled. So uh, we'll get on with the chronographing next. Okay then. I uh, initially tried the uh, JSB Hades, and for some reason, the chronograph wasn't picking them up. So uh, what I'm doing now, I'm trying some Falcon Accuracy Plus. These weigh 13.43 grains. So they're not a very heavy pellet. So although the velocity might be up there, the energy won't be. Uh, we'll see what happens. So I'm going to fire 14 shots through each because the, the hats and uh, Galatian is a 14 shot uh, rifle. This one's only a 10, so we'll get we'll get what we get. See if this records. 469. Yeah. Not very hard reading. 480 522-493-489 Five hundred three four hundred ninety two five hundred eight. Uh, one more shot. So we'll change max. Five hundred twenty nine. Okay. Say, so, not very, uh. Powerful so far. Could be the efficiency of the pellet, could mean the rifle wants uh, adjusting, but uh, like I say, these are a, a light pellet. Do need to make adjustments to this. Like I say, if I fit a lane regulator, I'll make sure it's too up to that. Okay, let's say four more. 524. 522 508 536 Okay, sometimes you find that the shot, the shot basically rise, rises in the curve, it will start to come up and then it will plateau and then when it plateaus it will stay that way for so long and then it will start coming down again capable of about 120 shots uh, so maybe another 20 shots it'll probably be onto its plateau but uh, that's the first 14 from a full fill of 200 bar uh, what I have found on these when you get down to 100 bar between 190 bar that's 90 bar then 100 you get the best sort of uh, performance from it so that's probably why it's starting off pretty low at this range uh, there's more pressure in the air cylinder uh, working on the, the actual valve stem so as the pressure decreases in the actual cylinder when the air pressure drops the spring pressure on the hammer is constant so that will because it's, it stays the same there but the air pressure is dropped it will be easier to open the valve and that's why you tend to get uh, higher shots lower down the range like some rifles are coming on 280 bar that kind of thing uh, that's why if you fit a regulator it's uh, it's an equal amount of air with every shot so uh, that's how you get a good consistent uh, grouping on a non-regulated rifle uh, the air that remains in the cylinder does, does have an effect when the hammer hits the, uh, the valve you uh, understand that. Right, we'll get the uh, Hudson uh, Galatian up there. Use okay, okay then. 
So, got the Hudson Galatian there. Little magazine up with 14 hands. We'll see how she's doing. Now, at one time, well, in the UK anyway, this was the top of the range at it. But if you look at the worldwide market, there's a lot more rifles out there now. And a lot different uh, powers, and you've even got fully automatic ones. So, uh, not as lucky as in America, but. Uh, Live in America, you've got full autos and semi autos. <clears throat> right, Let's see what she's doing. Five hundred eight. Five hundred twenty four. Five hundred twenty four. Five hundred twenty four. Five hundred thirty four. Five hundred twenty nine. Five hundred twenty four. Five hundred thirty one. Five hundred. Forty three, five hundred thirty four, five hundred forty seven, five hundred forty seven, five hundred fifty two, five hundred fifty seven. Okay, so that's fourteen shots, and as you can see, it's gradually climbing, it's not reached its plateau yet. Uh, around 9.2 foot pounds. Uh, so that that is another good reason to fit regulators to rifles. So what you can do once you find out that perfect pressure between the the spring and the uh, the cylinder, you can set then set the regulator to that cylinder pressure, and every time you fire it, it should shoot all right at that pressure because the spring is then operating on the uh, the air that it's receiving from the regulator rather than the whole cylinder it's a uh, it's 200 bar fill when that hammer because it's like I said before because the hammer is approximately the same uh, strength every time it hits the valve as the pressure drops down in the cylinder it's making it easier to open letting more air through making it more powerful and that's what your shop curve is and when you can uh, put it in parallel with a, a regulated rifle it's a flat flat uh, flat curve rather than a, a loopy one so then that's the two rifles chronographed not really get too much out of that because like I say not even reached the, uh, the actual plateau yet but uh, you get some idea of what they're starting off from anyway around nine foot pounds and most manufactured rifles they'll uh, climb up to about ten and a half foot pounds because they'll uh, be testing them with the heaviest pellet and because this is only a light pellet it's going to be obviously it's going to be uh, less power anyway if you put a that's a 13.43 grain if you put say an 18 grain in it's going to get a different power result because of the extra weight and especially if it's more efficient on the pellet to the barrel size so we'll get on with the uh, Backyard range test now. Okay then. Back on the garden range. Let's see what it's zero in on. Thank you. 
It'll go for the pins and that, above the egg. and gladius and it's shooting spot on. I've seen it somewhere. I think it's in the shed, the garage. Hang on. Spot on there. It's definitely in the garage, I think. I've, I've seen it somewhere. Okay, rain safe. Okay, then. the little uh, widgets.
Well, that's the two axons shooting quite well. That's with the Falcon Accuracy Plus. So we'll see you in the next video.